And we are off on our weekly adventure. Letting all the race car go first. And now we are safe, I hope. And what's up you guys? It's a great Sunday morning and today we are going to Hantu and Perez and Namwa. So like all cycling uh, cyclists every weekend, we tend to just do most of the same route most of the week because there aren't just much, so much, there are just so many routes available for us in Slango region and unless you have the money to travel overseas or you have the visa to you know drive to Cameron or whatever you know drive far far and cycle the whole day yeah but most people like me with family and children we tend to just do most of the same route every week so I do apologize if you do always see me covering the same route it is what it is like life of a parent life of family uh, oops burp today is a nice cold morning now though looking at it right now it is wow 23 degrees celsius 23 degrees celsius if you're in KL it's freaking cold man one two three four five six of us including Daniel Sharon Kenneth Leash and my new Singaporean friend Barry plus me Adrian's supposed to join but Adrian did not join because no visa again family lah it is what it is so let's go Barry had some technical issues. Let's see what happened. What? Oh, I got robbed. Okay, oh, I got a rock but I'm gonna flap. Okay. So after a quick fix of Barry's tire, there you go. It's working now. He's using a 24 mm uh, Victoria tire and using tube. He's not using tubeless yet, but he has a few bikes. Ah, uh, this is his tube bike in Malaysia. His, his bike in Singapore is tubeless. Uh. But anyway. So Leash had the Cyplus pump, the electric pump, making it so much easier to pump up the tire. Now we have reached Bukit Hantu climb. It's gonna be a climb. So probably just go slow. Leash! I'm feeling the gradient leash! It's only the start of our climb. <laughs> ah, long way to go. Time to talk. So in recent months uh, of cycling uh, now that I mean, I'm at Bukit Hantu now uh, so uh, you mind my breathing but in recent months of cycling I do realize there's an increase of cyclists on the road which means cyclists are back it's good right cyclists are back from the hibernation of almost one and a half to two years uh, since COVID so I think that's a good conversation to have that a lot of cyclists are back on the road but let me just recompose myself at this sub 5% gradient climb hey, Don't slow down at my expense yeah, right. after you waste your PR Oh, no. oh, Leash got PR, he has an SL8. You need to justify the 60,000 ringgit price tag. Oh. Go Leash! Indian is about. Fully built. 60,000 ringgit. I wonder why I was slowing down. Uh. That's now was a 9% climb. <laughs> Look at Barry and Leash. Sun tying while I'm suffering. Whew. So we were chatting, I mean I was chatting with a few bike retailers lah, you know, asking them about if you ever noticed that there are more cyclists on the road. So they say yes, because you know why? They told me that uh, the number of bike service also increased. But they are facing still one problem, which is they say bike service increased, but sales 
not going up on bikes. Accessories, not too bad. So, this is what they're saying, which is good. I mean, it's a sign of at least people are going back on the road. But I guess the challenge is most of the bike shops, right, they really depend on bike sales for their profit because that's like a big ticket item for them. Cycling is being so niche, uh, you know, how many accessories can you sell to survive? How many bike services can you give to survive? Because bike service is only about few, how about 100 ringgit? I mean, overall, a healthy bike shop should be selling like close to between 8 to 15 full bikes, complete bikes a week. So, even though there are a lot of cyclists on the road, most of these are seasoned cyclists coming back to ride. That's why I guess. Oh, I'm reaching to the top already. Ah, finally. Ah, only 6km. But I don't know why my leg feels so sore. Anyway. So with bike services increasing, which shows also that visually I see a lot of cyclists on the road lately, indicates that the market or cycling industry is slowly picking up again which is a good sign but the problem is if bicycle tradings does not pick up it'll be hard for the industry I mean even with cyclists coming back services going up, accessory sales slightly picking up I guess a lot of bike shops will still struggle and they are only, you know, breaking even, barely. <sighs> because rentals going up, you know, staff demanding higher salaries also picking up because basically everything's going up. <sighs> Standard of living is ever increasing. <sighs> so there are still some challenges lah, to be seen. But at least there are cyclists on the road and more and I'm one of them <laughs> after completing Hantu Climb and almost everyone overtaking me I'm not giving up I did my level best already but I don't know why my thigh so sore I survived a downhill after a quick stop at Bukit Hantu downhill time Welcome you man. Wow, Lao Oh, nice thing about coming down to is this part as well. When you come downhill, here you get to see the mountains at the end there. That's a quite a nice sight to see. But as well as the slope here is pretty steep. <laughs> so one of I think Barry, uh, Barry said this last week. He said that maybe the reason why so many cyclists are back cycling is because after one year of stopping they realize they gain a lot of weight <laughs> I think I'm one of them example <laughs> so because a lot of cyclists gain weight uh, they come back cycling maybe uh, I guess uh, definitely much cooling today today's weather uh, Batu 14, Batu 18 very nice and cooling really enjoying this ride with this kind of weather uh, if it can last the whole day uh, uh, it's the best time to cycle uh. I do see the sky a bit cloudy today, if you look at the sky now Definitely a lot of clouds up there, which is good So hopefully today is not a drastically hot day for all of us in the world Every time I cycle here, I just love this view Seriously, all these trees hugging us along the road It's really such a nice view Been pumping close to 300 watts non-stop for about three minutes. I'm tired now. Man, the climbs here, all this rolling hill, it's a nightmare for me. Whew, heart rate at surprisingly, heart rate is at one, two, three only. 
here we got this cool thing so you see like i said lost that cliff i see on the road oh, there's a on TT bikes uh, uh, let's climb I won't be surprised when I reach up to Paris top there's definitely going to be quite a number of people there so let's see Oi! Oi! Brian! Yeah, okay Are you? I would love to Oh yeah sorry slow you down no, oh yeah no, no, no. there goes your PR bro <laughs> see an old friend must must see. slow down and chill and you catch up alright you fast I do no friend <laughs> you wreck from home ah uh? uh, from home from home the, yourself ah uh, no la today's on time part at 14 part at 14 oh okay la if y'all don't know who's Brian that's because he always overtakes you <laughs> and he don't get a chance to say hi no no now it's uh it's more of a chill rider now already so Right. Right. Not doing it, man. It's not about PR anymore, bro. It's about people relationship. Oh, there goes one. Get out of here. Go out I see you. I see you. I pressure, bro. Have fun. If y'all didn't know, Brian is one of those bike baju riders. It's freaking fast. One of those really, really strong riders. Uh, it's a racer boy, lah. He join race, huh? Uh, don't say join race, <laughs> Event also, I don't join. Ah, uh, but okay. Now we are at Paris, going up uh, a 10 km climb of about five percent, six percent average. Not as steep, but a long one. It's now 8.30 It's only 8.30 now We are at KM15 It's already 23 degrees Celsius Ah, it's so so misty and nice ah, There's a sense of tranquility When you hit climbs like this You're alone And all you see is mist Some cricket sounds Peaceful Hear the uh, sound of your gear churning The pedals and the chains and the bike And the tar road the tar sticking to your tires that sound it's quite nice quite nice it's very peaceful Sharon! Cycling. Oh, oh I really opened my eyes. So many beautiful places. No energy. No energy. Like Valley in general. Leash. Hey. Oh. Why are we suffering on this climb I'm on not a long weekend? I'm not suffering. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like on zombie mode now. <laughs> I really feel so sleepy on the bike. Ah, uh, uh, dear lord. Another eight, eight, nine km to go. Okay. That's perfect. Uh, <laughs> not too bad. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, 7.6 km to go. See? Right in front of me. Let me see. Four, five, six, seven, seven cyclists in front of me. See? Cyclists are back. Cycling is back. So if many of you have already stopped cycling or considering to come back or have decided to totally quit, come back. A lot of us are back on the road. See how misty it is here? Oh sure. <laughs> thing I'll just keep quiet and let you enjoy the view This place is called like, to the left is Willow Tree Rally. Wonder what's that? Looks interesting. So we stop here. There's this beautiful valley. Wow, nice. 
So let's keep quiet and enjoy the view. I suspect the beautiful valley because of the beautiful landslide. <laughs> so yeah. Possibly, possibly. This part gave me. Yeah. The rare moments that I'm cheese hiking with the group on a climb. Let's see how long I can keep this up. Okay, that's all I've got. I've decided to drop behind the group. <laughs> Reality check. <laughs> Another tree cam to go. Ah, still with Daniel and Barry in front of me. But I noticed that when I'm using 300 watts, uh, being 99 kilos, <laughs> yes, I'm 99 kilos. And Daniel being probably 75, <laughs> I'm using close to 300 watts to sustain, to be with the same pace as him, but Daniel's using 150 watts, 280 watts. It's a lot of difference, man. Ooh, it's a lot of difference. Okay, a few more. Okay, I'm up. I'm done. Try to upset a little bit. Come on, Annie. Oh, sad, eh? Barry went down. I'm not gonna chase him. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bimba, 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 go. Ale, 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 ale. You need to. Daniel, next time to bring a bell. Ooh, we did it. It's a nice chill out time at the top there. Now we're gonna go down to Namwa for some nice trip. Nasi lemak and Bali ice. Let's go. Like this is so fast, ah. can you like? Well, not as many people as I thought I would see, but still some lah. Hey, mate, you have got my camera. Hey. Hey, Hello, hey, Hi. It's also known as the zone for church. As we go towards Pasu La Pamelas, we will try to sustain 37, 38 to 40 all the way. Oh, it's so fast! Oh, how it is, Daniel? Only at 42 km per hour. Ah, 46. The train in front is going at 44 km per hour. Very fast. Uh, uh, high rate is at almost 100. Go. Daniel is flying, man. Have to concentrate, because our wheels are pretty close. We are at 46 km per hour. Oh, this Daniel. Oh, using close to about 300 watts. Just to catch up. 400 watts. Oh, 700 watts. Oh, 
40 km per hour. This is tiring, like. Trying to keep up with Daniel. It's very tiring. Don't know how long more I can keep up with this pace. Oh, Daniel pulling all the way. Still 42 km per hour. Oh, flying now. And another four more km to suffer. Almost at Namwa. 42 km per hour. Wow, oh, when will Daniel get tired, man? I'm tired just following him. Oh, my turn to pull. See how long I can do it. Don't think for long. Uh. Well, falling down already, I'm tired already. Come on, a few climbs here. Going at about 42, 41. Uh. I'm done. Oh. Hey. Hardly survive me. Oh, hardly I only pull for two minutes after that I cannot really. Uh, 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 I think you pull half of it. Uh, oh dear lord. Very strong man Daniel. Most consistent rider uh, out there. Uh, uh. This is the best nasi lemak in Ulu Langat for sure. So we just did the zone pachot. This is the best Tolo Kampong in Ulu Langat. In Ulu Langat! You can see cyclists are everywhere. Bike racks are full. This is um, the best munchies in Ulu Langat. <laughs> so you know, uh, pull that time 45 km per hour. I was shouting, you know, Daniel, we still have 7km. Why you go 45? Ah. <laughs> uh, this kind of ride uh, is the best. Matchy matchy, white helmet, black glasses, black jersey, white camera, black beep. Stand now, be different. But at least it's comfortable. Stand. Very, very comfortable. What is very, it? Uh? Very light. What brand? What model is it? Physic Power Strap Aero Whip. Looks like uh, those Japanese wrap around kimono stuff. Very nice. Fancy. That was a good meal. Had a nasi lemak, had a bali. And now on the way back. Oh, forgot to say. Thank you, Barry, for the nasi lemak and, ba and bali. So nice. So now we are on the way back. Whew. It's a short, I think about 7 8 km left to go. La. I think no drama here. I'm definitely not going to purchase because the traffic here is pretty bad. La. But it's a nice ride. It's only like what? What time is it now? 10 20? Oh, early, early, early. Honestly, even though it's like 10 30 in the morning now. La. And my com my bike computer says it's 30 degrees Celsius. Uh. I honestly, my hands and my finger feels like it's around 25 degrees Celsius. It's like a very nice cooling Cameron kind of weather now. I love it. And it's shaded. Well, it's really, today I will say the ride is very nice and cozy and sunny. It's one of those good days out that you 
do appreciate the fact that you're out on the road cycling. And best of all, you're cycling among friends, good laugh, good chit chat. You know, you bong each other, you tease each other. Uh, love it. Life is simpler now. Look at the traffic coming to Satu La Tamla. A lot of cars, man. I wonder why the traffic is so bad. Oh! We're at about 40 km per hour. I thought we were supposed to sign that right. But currently, we are also still backing. Just me and Kenneth in front. Traffic seems pretty good. Not bad traffic as I thought it would be. Short ride today. Wow, oh, freaking short ride. Only 52 km. Only. Didn't expect the ride to be so short. We're hoping 70 km. Ah. Okay, lah. We've been racking. I've been hitting like 200, 300, 400 watts. Oh. Not the longest ride. Hey! Sao <laughs> Tonga! I uh, was a short ride, so let's look at the ride stats. Okay, nothing impressive. We only did 52 km. I was surprised, I thought it was going to be 70, but it's a short ride today. Uh. Very short ride. Oh, you got PR. For you. Got PR. Tanjong T Junction 2. Wow, today we 42 km per hour average. Thanks to Daniel. Daniel got me a PR at 42 km per hour. You're welcome. Wow, <laughs> the power of Daniel Law. For yo! For yo! Well, that's all folks. See you next week. And if you see so many people on the on the bike, I think it's time for you to get back on your bike as well. Take care you guys and God bless.